Hey everyone, my next tip. So today I am sharing with you some information about getting the most out of your Varoma. Okay, very much an underutilized part of the Thermomix. Hopefully today we can change that. So, three parts. Obviously the first part is your lid, okay? But it's not just a lid, it's also a drip tray. So when your you Thermomix is all hot and steamy, flip that upside down on your bench, and that allows you then to sit the rest on top. Catches the drips. Okay, second part you've got is your Varoma tray. Now, this is really awesome for lots of things. You can steam some salmon fillets on there or some pieces of chicken. You can pop prawns on there for a stir fry whatever you need. I also use that tray to put um, any vegetables that need a really short cook time. So I may have steamed most of the vegetables in the big deep dish, but I've got something like some baby spinach or some frozen peas that are only gonna need a couple of minutes right at the end. So I pop them on here and then just add them to the Varoma towards the end of the cooking. Okay, the other thing that you can do with your Varoma is cook an omelette. So all you need to do is grab some baking paper, scrunch it up uh, with a little bit of water, so make it damp, and then you're gonna use that to line that top tray of your Varoma, which means that you can pour your egg in there and it's not gonna run through. Same applies if you've got, you know, say one vegetarian person in the house, but you wanna cook some salmon. You can line the top, put your salmon in there, and then the juices from cooking are not gonna dribble down through the other food. Okay, so that's, you know, in a nutshell, how to use your Varoma. Also remember, whenever you're cooking in this, you need to have your Thermomix set to the Varoma temperature. So on your speed dial, uh, sorry, on your temperature dial, you go all the way up to 120 degrees, and then one click past that is Varoma. So it actually says Varoma. When you're using that temperature, it means that it will maintain a, a rapid boil in your machine to generate steam to cook whatever is in your Varoma up the top. Okay, other thing I like to use mine for is to wash my vegetables. So if you have just been to the shops and you've got a bunch of grapes that need a wash or you've got some lettuce that you need to wash, instead of pulling out your big bulky salad spinner, use your Varoma. So if you sit your lid in the sink, nice level surface in the sink, and then sit the dish on top with your lettuce or whatever in it, run the water on top, you will notice the water will actually start to fill up underneath the, the lettuce. So you can then just give it a swish with your hand, give it a good wash, and then pick up this and watch all the water drain out from underneath. So that's another great way to, to utilize your Varoma. If anyone else has any other tips of how they use theirs, leave us a comment. Um, those are the two main ways that I use mine, but there's probably many, many more. So shout out if you've got some suggestions. All right, so there we go. I will be back. Oh, actually, before I go, one other thing. You can use your Varoma to steam large things. So a whole chicken can fit in there. You can also fit, um, your piece of corned beef or if you want to do lamb shanks those will fit in there as well so definitely look up on cookie do for some recipe ideas just type Varoma into the search bar and you're going to get lots and lots of recipes that use it uh, see how you go talk soon bye